Hello my dear students welcome back to your English class now today students we will start a new poem from your marigold book for class 5 and the name of the poem is nobody's friend now this poem is written by enit blitton now before going into the details of the poem let's know some facts about the poet enit blitton let's look at the board Nobody's friend unit 8 by Enid Mary Blyton Enid Mary Blyton was an English children's writer whose books have been worldwide best sellers since the 1930s selling more than 600 million copies her books are still enormously popular and have been translated into 90 languages As of June 2018, Blyton held fourth place for the most translated author. That means she is quite famous, right? Now, she was born on 11th August 1897, East Dulwich, London, United Kingdom, and she died on 28th November 1968, Hampstead, London. United Kingdom Some important books written by her Noddy Famous 5 Secret 7 Mallory Towers etc Now students we will today learn one such poem written by Enid Blyton and that is Nobody's Friend Now through this poem the poet wants to convey a very important message to all of us that is we should learn the concept of sharing instead of being selfish stubborn we should learn to share our belongings with our friends so that in the long run we can grow up into a genuine human being and have a all round personality our personality will enhance and we will end up making genuinely good friends in our life now i will go into the line by line explanation of the poem before that i will recite the poem to you all let's recite it together nobody's friend by enid blitton she had some sweets that she wouldn't share She had a book that she wouldn't lend. She wouldn't let anyone play with her doll. She is nobody's friend. He had some toffee and ate every bit. He had a tricycle he wouldn't lend. He never let anyone play with his train. He is nobody's friend. But I'll share all of my sweets with you. my ball and my books and my games i will lend here's half my apple and half my cake i am your friend now here we come across three children the first two they have not learned the concept of sharing they are selfish they are stubborn and the last girl she has learned the concept of sharing now i will go into the line by line explanation she had some sweets that she wouldn't share now here we can see there is a girl who has a jar of sweets but she is not willing to share her sweets with anybody she wants to eat it all by her own next she had a book that she wouldn't lend she also has a book but she doesn't want to lend it to her friends now we all know that if we share books then knowledge is enhanced but if you are stubborn if you are selfish if you don't want to share your small small things with others then obviously the children who are your friends they will also not share anything with you and slowly you will lose your friends she wouldn't let anyone play with her doll now 
she wants to enjoy all her belongings alone she doesn't want to share anything with anyone what will happen this girl will grow up to be alone and lonely and one day she will really feel lonely where there will be no friend who will be by the side of her now in the next picture we come across a boy who had some toffee he had some toffee and ate every bit now this boy owns some toffee or chocolate and he ate all the toffees and didn't share it with his friends he had a tricycle he wouldn't lend now he also owns a tricycle now you know students it is not possible for everybody to own a tricycle or a bicycle okay so what happens if we share our small small things with our friends then our friends will be equally happy and seeing them we can also be happy and together we can enjoy the things but this boy has not learned the concept of sharing he has not learned it from a very tender age and he has grown up to be very much selfish he never let anyone play with his train he owns a train as well now he never lets anybody play with that train even so what will happen the friends of this boy they will slowly grow away they will not maintain their friendship with this boy why because this boy is selfish because we all know that whatever we do that in that same manner we get the return so if we share then obviously our friends will also share their belongings with us but if we don't do it then obviously they will also not do and we will end up being alone and lonely in this wide world the third girl here in this poem is a very sweet and innocent girl who has learned the concept of sharing she owns many things and she likes to share her things with her friends but i will share all of my sweets with you she also has lots of sweets and she wants to share these sweets with her friends my ball and my books and my games i will lend she owns bo a ball some books and some games and she is willing to lend it to her friends so that they can collectively enjoy these and can have fun so this girl knows the concept of sharing she knows how to be happy with everybody here's half my apple and half my cake now she also has an apple and a cake now she is ready to share even those this shows that this girl has a all round development she has grown up to be a very good and a sensible girl who will own very good and genuine friends in her life and she will never remain alone in this world and everybody will be ready to help her ready to help her when she is in need when she is in problem so through this poem the poet wants to convey the message that we should learn the concept of sharing so that we can grow into a nice and a genuine human being and we will end up making good and genuine friends who will stay with us in the life which is so big and we will happily live together with our friends because it is very much difficult to live in this world alone so i hope students you have understood this poem i will again meet you with some other video till then goodbye everyone stay at home and be safe thank you everybody